Hello, you bruised, swollen penises filled with dying baby cockroaches. Jim Sterling here, and this is Affliction. Now, I know what you're thinking. Jim, you looked at Affliction yesterday. Well, we looked at about a minute of Affliction, and then I didn't know where to go next because I made a mistake and, and did a silly, and didn't see the sewer cover that I was supposed to find. But it doesn't matter because we're here with Affliction sewer assault. Oh yeah, I know what to do now, I know where to go, and I even saved the game before I, I quit out, so that's how clever I am. That's why I'm like thinking ahead. You might remember this is the game I chose to cover because of the Steam artwork, which has a man going ah on it, and we're all really happy about him. That's the main character, I assume. I also assume his name is Affliction, from the game Affliction, and that he likes to go, Aah! hello, but we'll never know. The loading bar's going though, look at that red bar fly, almost at the end. Oh, it's just gonna be so sweet. It's gonna be so good, I can't wait to afflict things. The sewers, my arch nemesis. We meet at last. Ha 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 ha. You don't even get a prompt when you're near it to use the pry bar or anything. Now, I'll admit some goofage on my part with the last video. I didn't see the subtitle that mentioned the sewer. The small subtitle with no audio attached to it that was at the very bottom of the screen, by the way. Again, reminder, this game's in early access. Maybe they will have voices. It would just be nice if they would make the objectives more clear, you know, rather than have them all small at the bottom. Even the people who normally give me shit for missing things in games were like, oh no, we can understand you missing that one. Not even a prompt when you're near the man, or anyway. It's time for the sewer assault. I want this handgun. Still got my rifle. It's all it's called in the game, just rifle. We don't want to get in trouble with any gun manufacturers now, do we? Oh, oh shit. Yeah, that's the end of that fucko. What have you got? Yeah. Do I get to keep my rifle as well? Nice. Now we got three guns. One, two, three. Three guns. Okay, we're at 89 health as we just keep going through. Whoa! Yeah, some of that, you fucking tit. Oh god, we've only got three shots left. And that's just another fucking... Oh! Yeah, 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 I'll have that. Enemy ammo, got that. Thank you very much. Alright, no one here. I'll take that. I'll take all of this, whatever it is. Oh, some... Yeah, I'm not pressing my face to the screen and squinting to read that. Are you fucking joking? Fuck's sake, off we go. Our scouts have reported seeing large groups of soldiers approaching the city. They are supported by armor and... This paper's covered in shite! Put this shitty piece of paper down. Where were we? Right, carrying on. Through the tunnel, obviously. Whoa! I don't see them, they're so fucking dark against the the dimly lit background. This weapon's shite. This weapon's shite. Not having any of that. All right, can I have this shovel? I think it'd be more efficient to just walk up to these. Why have you got barbed wire on your legs, you fool? What a silly, silly sausage. Anyway, get that. Don't need that syringe. Anything else? in a game that my PC recognizes as Game Guru Map Editor. That's the name of the game according to Windows. The door is jammed. Well, fuck me in my doodle spot. Okay, get up here and there we go. Well, that was a nice short level, wasn't it? Here we are again with that, that famous message, explore if you dare, scavenge whatever you can, Fight for your life, survive against all odds. Which we are prepared to do. If, if it's tough to remember, just abbreviate it. E-S-F-S. -S. Esfs. For explore, scavenge, fight, survive. 
Esps. Alright? Esps. Alright! Well, that was enough bollocks to see us through the loading screen. Why did you automatically switch to that gun? The rifle so far has proven itself as the most useful. Okay, this is the City Hall building. I'm gonna keep a close eye on those fucking subtitles at the bottom. Okay, he doesn't say anything. This is our chance. Oh my god, the fucking recoil on that! All right. Well, we'll be careful with that. <laughs> that was awesome, though. You fucking idiot. You're worse at this game than I am. I mean, is that an invitation? I mean, I would, but I'm in the middle of something. The current situation is looking grim. I think that says pretty, but you can't read it through all the shit. The shit on the paper. They come from you, you look like a dirty bird. Mucky, mucky little starling. Filthy little blue tit and other such degrading birds. Oh God, really struggling to get up these stairs. Uh, maybe the first time our protagonist has ever encountered them because they really struggled getting up there. All right, where are we? Nothing. This is supposed to be a horror game. I don't know if this is like just the prequel, the prequel chapters, but uh, here we go, here we go. There's an outside, this is, this has to be the way. You can constantly hear, um, oh my God, look at that flag. Welcome to the country of, I don't fucking know, it's just a red flag. What the hell are those two up to? One of them's just being a jackass and nudging the other with his shoulder. The other one's just like, can you stop it? I'm trying to be a professional soldier and keep my gun steady. And the other one's like, uh -huh. we should probably kill them. There we go. That recoil is incredible on this weapon though. Maybe should have tweaked something in Game Guru Map Editor. Okay, which is the right way, who knows? This, this is the start of the level. So we don't need to worry about, oh, wait, was what was that? Oh, proceed to pick up bandages. Oh yeah, I need bandages because how I got out was I jumped off that balcony and then just landed on the floor. There were things to land on, but I had no cause to use them. Okay, well, having killed those unaware poor people who were just trying to do their job. Oh shit, what did that say? It said the hospital was on the other side of something, but then I picked up ammo. Well, this looks like a, oh, the hospital should be just around the corner. Brilliant, this must be the end then. Uh, okay, that was. It made noises like it was a locked gate, but I couldn't move and then it just slowly faded out. Loading screen again. I don't know if you're aware of the core tenets of this game. Explore if you dare scavenge whatever you can, fight for your life, like Hulk Hogan said, survive against all odds. Okay? ESFS. ESPS. Okay, here we are. Level whatever the fuck. Oh my God, I, 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 I can't with the guns at a distance. We'll wait for him to come near. And where's that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Load these up. Come on. Oh my god. Ha ha ha! Right in your fucking face. Is the other one? Yep, the other one's dealt with. Pick up the... Yep, the Bikel MP153. My favourite type of Bikel. Okay, so this door? I don't know. See, the thing about this game is you, you're never quite sure where the end... Of, what, what was that? Press E to what now? Bandage. Yeah, happy with that. Need all the fucking bandages we can get. <gasps> Pushable. Oh, look at that. Look at us. With a puzzle. Bloop. Bloop. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Alright, well. Wasn't great, was it? We are going to die pretty soon. 
Oh, maybe not. That got us back to 100. Thank you, handy medical tent. Oh, there's a face there drawn on the back of a van. Quite literal vandals. Trespassers will be shot. Well, I mean, that's no different from anywhere else we've fucking been, is it? Hardly much of a threat when everywhere we go we'll be... Uh-oh. The police station is just past this cordon. James Corden? Anyway, let's go. We don't need any of that. We're good on health. And round just past the cordon here. Through here. Oh, oh my God, it's a cutscene. Uh, sort of. It's like YouTube in the year 1986. That's the picture quality we're looking at. But uh, yeah, yeah, cool. What? Voice acting. Yeah. Oh shit! Root. No, I won't. It was a scene of violence and rebellion too awesome to show on screen. So unfortunately, we didn't get to see any of it. But we are reminded of the core principles of affliction. Explore if you dare, scavenge whatever you can, fight for your life, and survive against all odds. Excellent. I think some of the loading screens last as long as some of the levels, which is nice. It's, it's like poetry, it rhymes. I think I made a joke about loading screens on the wrong loading screen because I faded that out for time, but that took fucking forever to get that red bar moving. It was moving. There we go. All right. More cutscenes. Aren't we a lucky bunch of fuckos? Huh? Oh, I think the horror might be starting. Mm hmm. Oh, that reminded me of the Visceral logo for a moment. Rest in peace. No, please. Uh-huh. Where were these voices earlier when I needed to know where the fucking sewers were? Why is the production value of a sort kicked in now? I guess this is because this is where the horror starts. Like, if you look... If you look at the uh, the developer, because I, I was checking out the uh, some of the other footage of this game uploaded by the developer on the Steam store page to try and find out where the fuck to go. And they said the game started um, actually in a level very similar to this. They said the opening of the game was, I mean, it was set in a completely different place from that sort of Call of Duty light. Oh, a document. Look at that. I won't read all that. Let's go. Chapter one. Oh, we've 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 just made it to the first chapter. Jolly good. Look at that. We're in a creepy abandoned, I'm guessing, hospital or something. And there's a lot less shit on the paper here. There's something to be said for decorum. Uh, we haven't got our flashlight, which I did test in some footage that wasn't seen uh, late yesterday from the from the last video we did. But no flashlight now. When I really could do with it. Because it's quite dark. I don't know if you've noticed. Uh, where am I? Says the subtitle. Again, no voice. Which would be delightful and nice if it tells us important information. I should find something to protect myself. Good call. Big syringe. Stick him in the eyes with it. Oh my word. We'll have a look at you in a second. I need a key. Oh! Are you still going? Oh, hello! It's been a while since I've seen you. You're looking a lot worse for wear. We've played a couple of Game Guru games. At least one of them had this, this in as an enemy zombie. They're quite funny to see in motion. It's quite sad to see what's become of the poor bastard. Oh, well, probably couldn't get enough work. I thought that was a readable scrap of paper on the floor. Office. 
maybe there's a file in here for me. That's an arrogant assumption there in the subtitles. Oh, patient background. Oh, a bit of an arm and a key. We got the key, that's good. And another one of those. Knife. All right. Yeah, that'll do. Anything else? So we've got this, uh, this rather mucky looking body over here. We got some, oh. Well, someone was choking on a Jolly Rancher or something. Yeah. And that's just a fucking mess. Dude, you're a dog's dinner. You need to sort yourself out. Right, let's go. Now that we have a knife, anything, quite literally anything could happen. Up to and including zombies. What the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Affliction, everybody. Affliction. Okay, we've got to be extra careful. Because they're using zombie in game assets from Game Guru as corpses. So, really, you never know what could pop up and get you. Could this pop up and get us? No, it's not going to pop up and get us, I don't think. We got a key for a door. I don't know what that door is yet, but I'm sure we'll find out. Oh, hello. Again, could get up at any moment. This is another one that looks familiar, actually. I have a feeling all of these are going to look quite familiar. Okay. Well, whoever's been around here is quite artistic. I mean, it's not quite my taste, but but I could see this fetching a pretty price at auction. Are you going to pop up and get us? Oh, no, I can't move. That's it, level clear. Brilliant. I don't know if you've forgotten what to do in this game, but the main idea is to explore, but only if you dare and scavenge whatever you can. Like, don't worry about that. Just if you can pick it up, get it. Fighting, now that's crucial because it's a life or death situation. You are quite literally fighting for your life. And there are gonna be quite a few odds stacked against you. And the only thing you can do in response to that is to survive. Okay, here we are. Level, <laughs> explore, scavenge, fight, survive. The sweet smell in the air, I recognise it. I know all I can smell is shit right now. Oh! Ah, oh, there he is! Ha 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 Oh, one of my favourite, one of the most delectable Game Guru assets. Look at that, we can see through his fucking head. Ah, oh. Right through his fucking head. Anyway. Oh, he had something. What was it? Press E to pick up first... Oh, first aid kit. Well, I was just going to pick up the bandage over here because that would have, you know, been less of a waste, but whatever. Laptop. Can't interact with it. Can't even smack it. Well, that's a shame. All right. Another... Yeah, just another... I mean, what even is that? What is that? That's just strawberry jam. That's just a pile of strawberry jam that someone's arranged into a vague human shape. Got another body here. Just dead. Just dead, I think. Onwards! Oh. Visceral! Why? It's enough mourning. The time for mourning is done. The time for fighting, scavenging, and surviving, and the other thing. We gotta do it. Exploring? <laughs> this combat's amazing. Oh, I was so enamored with Strawberry Jam Guy that I didn't realize there's a gun right next to him. Let's grab that. Okay, we got the Makarov. Which, to be honest, 
I don't think he's gonna be more efficient at dealing with these zombies because the way they stagger when they knife them is A, funny, and B, has resulted in a lot less physical damage done to me than any of the shooting combat so far. But let's leave this level. That's the end of that one. Explore, scavenge, fight, survive, yeah. If you're gonna have this many loading screens, my advice to you would be to have a couple of them rotate them in and out. I mean, that's this is early access of... What I, even the game knows what's up. It started with the Makarov in my hand and then automatically switched to the, the... The game just decides what weapon you should use. And this is the first time the game's made the right call. Oh my God, it's a strawberry jam dog that's been eating some strawberry jam. I mean, obviously I'm not saying it's nice strawberry jam. Oh, did I offend it? Oh, I might have offended its owner. Oh, I have! <laughs> Look at you! Yeah, come here, you fucking idiot. Where are I? Oh my god, there we go. <laughs> oh, there's another one. <laughs> come on. Yeah, we'll do you and all. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, he's actually... These are dealing quite a bit of damage. They're not funny anymore. They're not funny anymore. I really shouldn't keep moving my... Oh my god, there's another one. This one's gonna get me. I, I need to... Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. That was rough. We're gonna keep the macro... Even then, though, uh, as skittish as they are, they're running around like little insects that go... So... We've got eight shots. I don't think I'm gonna land a single one. I'm not the greatest marksman there is to begin with. And that's putting it fucking lightly. But give me a pistol against things that just run around like, like the, the zombie equivalent of a friggin' strobe light. Okay, well, we'll do our best. This so far has been the most aggressive of levels. What the hell goes on in these labs? Well, some shit from the looks of things. All right, we got some bandages, got some pain pills, got a shit stain note. Okay, something about genetic bollocks. I meant that, I, I, I didn't mean genetic bollocks. Like they're, they're trying to breed, you know, mutant testicles in here. Although, although. Shit, I think they're trying to make mutant testicles in here. I explore if you dare, scavenge whatever you kill, fight for your life, survive against all odds. Blah. Okay, flashlight received. Flashlight turned on. Now we are ready for action. Oh, some fly noises. Well, that was a fun treat for us. All right. Take it slow. Take it careful. Subtitle asks how big this place is. I have no idea. Can't help you there, mate. Okay, what was that? I heard a breath noise. I can't tell if that was from us or from a zombie. Let's just take this one room at a time. And I'll just pick that up. Why not? Another shit stain note. I mean, look at that. You want me to sit here and read that shite? No. No, I refuse. Flashlight turned itself off. It must be a battery or something. Where's where's the meter that tells us the battery on it? I don't see it. What's this? Oh, ghost notes. I'm not going near any ghost documentation. No, thank you. All right, there we are, just stepping over bodies like they're nothing. Is that another note? No, just a... I mean, if you're gonna make your notes look like notes and your background bullshit look like notes, I, I mean, I say it, it, you make them. I mean, if Game Guru's gonna make your notes look like notes and your background shit look like notes, then, oh my God, it's one with a gun. Oh. Oh. Okay. 
We're going to get back in there, explore if you dare, scavenge whatever you can, fight for your life, survive against all odds. Or, you know, if you want to remember everything, why not abbreviate it to E-I-Y-D-S-W-Y-C-F-F-Y-L-S-A-A-O. I'm not as good at doing that joke as Richard Herring is. Richard Herring was always very good at that joke. So we are... Yep. Yep. The game has manual saving only and I... I manually saved where we started. So... Fuck. <laughs> 